All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another video of Full Speed and Pulse. And as you hear in the background, we're watching old Supercross tonight. So this is our RC dyno table. You might have seen it in our break-in video. And it did do what we needed to do, but we're on our last rip. And you know what? This thing here, we didn't do any bearings. She needs bearings. This was a great trial run and all that to see if it would even possibly work. And it is showing really good potential. But what we want to do is make this adjustable and we want to make these roll-on bearings. So we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, upgrading on this while we watch some Supercross tonight. And uh, we're gonna get at this thing. So we got everything notched out with our horrible jigsaw and blade. Probably wasn't the best tool for the job, but we got it done. So now we're gonna work on getting our bearings set up on our bolts and all that. And last time when we tried mocking the bearings in, it was super tight. And we actually had to heat the pipe up to get the bearing to even squeeze in there. We're wondering now, maybe after it's worn on that bolt a little bit, maybe the bearing is gonna slide in a little bit nicer wishful thinking maybe but uh yeah we're gonna give it a try all right and then another issue we have to make sure is not an issue is to make sure that the length or the width or whatever is the right size because when we're on the bolts there's a little bit of slop back and forth but i don't think we're going to have that leeway as much now with the bearing setup and all that um so we may have to shorten uh our boards just a little bit and bring them in uh as far as our width so we're gonna see what happens but we gotta get some bearings set up first and then we'll get at it. All right, guys, we got this thing all done. This is a good version two of this thing. It's still not perfect. We're still learning. Our bolts could have been a little bit longer. We had to take the washers out, and that's why these are kind of sinking in a little bit, which does offer grip so these don't slide. It shouldn't be an issue because we don't have to tighten them down too crazy. Bearings are in. They honestly don't spin as freely as I thought it would, but it does do pretty well. Um, we had to put a strap up here. We already did a little test run. We put a strap up here to hold her down because what was happening, it was starting to lift just a little bit and then it wasn't making contact with that bar very well. But overall, I mean, not too shabby. Got the dual straps in the back, keeping her, keeping her down. I think the straps are pretty cool too. It just happened. They're actually storage straps and all that. But these things are pretty cool. And then we ended up cutting that off as you've seen and then well whatever it was we had to put some shims back in it which is pretty much what we cut out but got everything in line takes a little bit to adjust the rolls so how we do is you start measuring from here to the here that's how we get our first roll level and then we go from here to here to make sure that those are even and then same thing from back to front make sure that's even and then we do that so obviously our gap was a little bit shorter but we are trying to pinch the tire a little bit higher up and uh, I think it works out pretty good. So we got the RC car already powered on, guys. And we're going to give her a rip. So another reason why we had to put a strap up front, too, is that the front end was trying to walk around a little bit at higher speeds. So. And she just didn't work. Okay. We were having issues with this ESC. Thank you. 
How cool is that? Works pretty darn good, I have to say. Like, especially it running up on this one um, spindle like that, that allows it to spin so easy. So that is perfect. And the nice thing about these too, they're Velcro and adjustable and all that. So if we need to tighten it down a little bit, we can, and it's, man, it's awesome. We are on our last break-in on our nitro car, so this will be at the very end of our video as far as on the very full throttle break-in, which will be just pretty fun with that thing. Um, but I'm, I'm pumped. Like, that thing is... Yeah, buddy. All right, everyone, but that is our dyno break-in table. This is what we built this for, is to break in our nitro cars and all that, if this is the first time you've seen this video. All right, but that video will be being released very soon on us breaking in our nitro Losi and all that, and I am pumped now to do that final break-in. It is going to be so cool on this, but you could take this table and do so many other things. Maybe it's us going to be, you know, tuning our nitro car in now. Instead of having to rip it up and down the road and all that, trying to get that fine tune. Now we're going to be able to rip it right here on the table and get that thing dialed in on top end. It's going to be sweet. But I appreciate you guys watching all that. Until next time, we'll see you later.